The Stones around Rocky Hall. This Rocky Hall is a locality in the hinterlands of the far south coast of New South Wales, connecting the tablelands and the coast, resting in a valley guarded by steep hills and bisected by the Tawamba River. In the 1850s, Rocky Hall was to be a town. On the main transport link between the southern Monero and the coastal ports of Eden and Marimbula, it had an inn, store, school, church, butter factory and a farming population to support it. The opening of an alternative road in 1930, making the trip to the Monero shorter and easier, caused the through traffic to stop. Darien kept the valley going until it too declined, leaving a lovely valley in a state of serene tranquillity. Only a school, community centre, hall, and a bridge remain. None of this activity worries the Toowoomba River its journey continues. The origin of the river is an abrupt and steep mountain known in part as Big Jack, whose runoff feed the river. Various tributaries add to the flow on its journey to the coast. The river and its tributaries are noted for their short-lived floods. Water levels can rise rapidly and the flow can be violent. Sand, rocks, boulders and other debris are carried downstream and deposited as flow slows. Over time, these floods have washed away several bridges, which on being rebuilt have also been destroyed. The one exception is the bridge at New Buildings, first built in 1884, washed away, then rebuilt in 1921 as a high level bridge designed to allow flood water and debris to flow under it. So far, it has survived. The other bridges have now been replaced by low-level concrete causeways to allow floods to pass over them and hopefully remain in place. Or, locals put up with rough, natural crossings. As well as bridges, cars have been washed away and unfortunately lives lost due to these floods. Rocks and boulders washed into the river are worn smooth and roundish. Their different size, colour and composition when deposited makes the river an eye-catching scene. Locals have made use of these stones as building materials for houses, and this is an attractive stone entrance to a property, now unusable as a bridge leading to it was washed away, as has the crossing and its abutments. On top of this stone wall, somebody has placed stone implements found nearby belonging to the original inhabitants of this land. Many stone tools have been found in locations around Rocky Hall. These people have also left behind other reminders of their time at Rocky Hall in the form of stone arrangements. Those that I have seen occur on a ridge or buff above a waterway. The stones have been placed on an exposed dome-shaped outcrop of exfoliated granite upon which irregular chunks of rock have been placed and or stacked leading up to the dome over it and continue on downhill. Single rocks at the upper end and up to waist high were stacked leading down towards the watercourse. 
They are not arranged in a straight line, but have a wiggle about them, like a moving snake. Their age? Who knows? Their purpose? Again, who knows? But they have obviously been constructed for a reason. Some of the stones would have required a team effort to place them, so maybe their construction was part of their purpose. And, or, they may have been a site where instruction or ceremonies took place. Whatever their role, Rocky Hall has a long history of people living in it and using its stones.